Hey, David Brewster here on episode 3 for all. This is 3 Bill Leverty Licks from 1992. And we're going to be talking about the band Firehouse. And I have had requests to feature some Bill Leverty in the music of Firehouse. And I thought we could start with some of his licks. And Bill's a great player. He's commonly overlooked in today's world. But definitely back in the day, you know, in like 1990 was when Firehouse released their debut album. And it just exploded. You know, songs like Love of a Lifetime and Don't Treat Me Bad. They blew up on MTV and on radio and definitely put Firehouse on the map. But Firehouse is one of those bands that actually continued through the 90s, you know, before things really shook up. I think their second album came in 92, which was right on the cusp of when everything shifted to the alternative revolution and the grunge, you know, era of the 90s. But Firehouse still had, you know, an audience. They still released albums. And they're huge in Japan and Indonesia and India and Malaysia and places like that. They found an audience, you know, overseas. I had some fun putting this episode together, and aside from the cool licks, I also got to go down memory lane and remember, you know, a moment from my past. And in 2006, I was actually in Evansville, Indiana, teaching and playing with a band called Bosco, and we opened for Firehouse that year. I think it was in July, but um, it was like this big outdoor barbecue festival, and there was a lot of people there. But I do remember I got to meet Bill and talk to him. I think he gave me a guitar pick, and he complimented me on my tone, which made me feel really good. And uh, it was a cool show, you know, and I kind of half forgot about it. And it wasn't until I put this lesson together and it was like, oh, yeah, Firehouse. I totally met Bill. And he's a really cool guy. The licks in this lesson actually came from an old video series from the 90s that was called Hot Guitarist. And I think they only made three episodes. And I actually had the first two, like volumes or episodes or whatever. And it was cool, even though it was short-lived and it didn't really stick around very long. But I kind of liked the idea of having this random group of all these different guitarists and they're talking about their career or their tone or they start showing licks and there's like little lessons and stuff. And it was a cool idea, even though it didn't, you know, continue. But this actually came from volume two or episode two and Bill was featured, you know, he's kind of playing some licks from Firehouse and playing some additional stuff. And it was really off the cuff, you know, which I like that. The first lick's this really cool flat five idea, and we're in the key of E minor, and this came from the Reach for the Sky guitar solo, and it's something like this. One more time. So we're basically playing out of E minor pentatonic, but we're also playing with the flat five, so it's like the E minor blues scale. And we're kind of playing out of this position of E minor pentatonic right here. So, you know, kind of using this unusual fingering where we're grabbing, you know, E and this G and that A, and then we're grabbing that B flat, which is our flat five, like that. And we're basically just doing this hammer on pull off kind of legato maneuver right there. And we're kind of using that A, uh, that A note, basically almost like a pivot in a way, because we're kind of holding that note for a second before we continue with those legato moves. And it kind of reminds me of George Lynch a little bit, but uh, slowly. Right? You know, really cool expressive lick and I love the flat five for sure. But then we could take that idea and we could move it around the fretboard like in different octaves. You know, we could play it here. Well, let's take that idea. Let's move it up an octave, we'll go up here. Or we can move it down an octave down here. We can move it down another octave. And that's something you should do, like when you learn a lick from somebody, you know, play it the way it was written or performed, and then experiment with it, move it around, you know, jack it up or down in different octaves, or change keys, or fingerings, or whatever you can think of. But take that idea and run with it. But here's the lick one more time. Next up is this melodic stretch idea, and we're in A major, and this came from the Don't Treat Me Bad guitar solo, and it's something like this. One more time. So we're in A major right there. 
and we're way high on the fretboard right there grabbing this e moving over to that a and then we're going to pull off this b to a and then c sharp to a like this <laughs> And then you're also going to grab that D waiting way up there. So we're kind of playing with this melodic, you know, area right here. But we're doing it like this. So you've kind of got this pivot note on that E, and then you're just bouncing around on that high E string with those pull-offs, you know, and we keep going back to that A. And right there, you're going to basically hang on that C sharp and you're kind of bending it up a half step to that D. And that's a great workout for your pinky if you choose to use that finger right there. And then you want to end on that E note right there. Now, once again, we can take this idea can move that down in octaves. We could do it here. Move it down another octave right here. You can move it down another octave. Do it right here. But the important thing there is you're learning the lick and then you're also learning some variations and some different ways of performing it because you can basically turn that into one of your own licks just by kind of reworking it or playing around with it. One more time with this. The next lick took place during this really candid moment during Bill's interview, you know, for this hot guitarist video. And he starts talking about Van Halen and the influence that Eddie had not only for soloing and tapping, but he starts talking about the bar, and as you can see, I've changed guitars because I needed to use, you know, my bar and my strat. But what I did is I actually just tuned the B string down a half step. So I am tuned down a half step, but it's just one string. And uh, the Van Halen style, you know, bar lick that Bill demonstrated, something like this. <laughs> So basically he's grabbing this G note right here and then he does a quick hammer and pull off between E and G and he dips his bar and then he basically does that twice like two um, you know hammer and pull offs right there and then you want to dip your bar again on that E note and then do it one more time and then he basically after that and he basically relocates that E all the way up to B with your index finger, and then he starts stretching up to grab this E note, pulls off back to that B. And then right there, he basically ends that phrase on that D and starts wiggling the bar, you know, kind of frantically. But as you can see, he's using the bar in a very musical way. He's not just dipping it, you know, kind of generically or whatever. You know, he's not doing something like that. He's really kind of smearing notes and changing the pitch, you know, of phrases and stuff while he's playing. And you can definitely hear Van Halen. I mean, Eddie Van Halen was a master of doing that. He taught the world how to manipulate the bar between him and Steve Vai, for sure. But then, you know, Hendrix did all the dive bombs and stuff, and Eddie definitely continued that. But Eddie was a master of these bar dipped, you know, kind of melodic manipulations like that. I love stuff like this. <laughs> Here's a bonus lick from this footage, and it's also from the Don't Treat Me Bad guitar solo, and it's the stretch speed lick that's very unusual, but really cool. Something like this. One more time there. And it's very unusual, but we're basically grabbing this D major arpeggio right there. You know, there's D way up on the top on the 22nd fret. There's A on the 17th fret there and then F sharp right there on the 14th fret. And that's basically a D major arpeggio. And what he's basically doing here is he's moving, you know, a descending kind of legato movement right there. But then you're also going to change this D to that C sharp, so you're kind of applying a D major 7 right there. 
just want to alternate with that pinky finger right there between that D and C sharp. And you want to do that four times like this. <laughs> that fourth time you're going to basically grab that C, bend it up a half step and back, and you're going to basically grab this F sharp right there, grab that D note, and then you want to bend that. You know, something like that. And that's tricky because I actually start that with my pinky, I reach over and grab that F sharp with my index finger, and then I end up using my third finger for that big D bend at the end. I guess you could use your pinky there too, but you're doing this kind of switcheroo, you know, with your fingering, which is tricky. But one more time, kind of slow with this. And then one more time, fast. That's going to wrap this look at three Bill Leverty licks from 1992 and definitely an overlooked player but very expressive with these cool ideas and melodies and you know lots of you know feel and conviction when he plays you know cool guitarist for sure and I love going back down memory lane and remembering that concert I had to look it up online as far as you know finding the actual date but uh, I remember that vividly and it was like yeah that was a good day ate some barbecue met Bill Leverty you know played for a big crowd and went home you know which that's a good gig if you get paid and get fed and whatever and then you're you know home at night or whatever to get some sleep then that's a good gig but uh anyway leave some feedback and comments please subscribe to the lessons and i'll be back before you know with more content and material thank you